So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 19th Electron Framework tutorial in which we're going to finally implement the save functionality. So saving this image would be tricky because first of all we are making use of CSS filters which is not really modifying the image, right? It's just, it's, it is just visible on your web page with HTML. And uh, what the problem is, is that you cannot even export an image to HTML5 canvas with all those CSS effects because if you know that if you can import the image to HTML5 canvas, you can probably just screenshot it. So what I thought about, about fixing this thing or rather implementing this thing was that we can actually screenshot this image. But the problem is that uh, when we open the image, we actually shrink it a lot, right? So this is actually a 720, 1280 by 720 image, which is shrink to, I don't even know the size. So if we screenshot this with Electron, that kind of would work, but uh, we lose our original resolution. So what I thought was to do something like this. We're going to open another browser window from our render process, which would contain only this image with, it, with its dimensions. And what that would do is uh, that would run in the background and we're going to screenshot that window instead of this small window so that we get our, our original resolution image as well, plus the screenshot. So we have a lot of work to do. Let's get started. Let's just move to our save and uh, what I'm going to say here is constant browser window is remote and I'm going to create another window let to win is a new browser window with some properties throwing in here we're going to say it's frame to false we're going to say show to false so that we do not get any window actually we do not want to show the user that we are saving this now we need the width and the height so that we just only screenshot the proper screen itself and we do not get any transparent pixel and all that stuff. So for that, what we need to do is actually get the dimensions of the image. And for dimensions, we're going to make use of a node module and we're going to say npm install image size and I'm going to save this and just let it install and what this would allow us to actually get the size the dimension of the image right so again we hop back to our service and we get to say this dot set image dimensions is dimensions i'm going to say image path or for dimensions is an array and uh, image dimensions let's just say and i'm gonna say this is dimensions is image dimensions and say this as get image dimensions and we're gonna return dimensions so to set the dimensions i'm gonna go again here i'm gonna say image dot set dimensions and dimensions here okay so now how do we get dimensions well to get dimensions first of all we need to get the size of module which is uh, image size module and then since we have the path of the image with us we can simply say the size of the image path and it will just automatically give us a dimensions which would contain dimensions dot width and dimensions dot height as the dimensions of the image right so yeah that's pretty much all we need to do and uh, yeah looks good so what we can do now is uh, pretty much since we are including this image service we can say image dot uh, or rather let's just say for dimensions is image dot get dimensions and we can say dimensions dot width and dimensions dot height and i'm just gonna set it to true for now so that we can at least see what's happening 
and finally I'm going to say window.load URL and this would be let's just say data text HTML because we are just looking for a simple page so I'm going to add a little bit of styles margin 0 padding 0 so that we do not get that 8 pixel margin or something like that which is default margin in browsers and then finally we can insert our image IMG SRC and that would be our image source right can say let us rc is image dot get image path and I can say src in here and I can say style is filter and right here I'm gonna write my styles here as well and I can get those styles as let styles is a image reference dot style dot filter remember we set the property using style dot filter so we can get it back as well uh, we can say styles in here simple enough and uh, yeah so that pretty much launches our um, browser window with our image embedded inside it with perfect dimensions so let's just hope and see how this looks like e1 and if i just increase the brightness and save it okay we do not get anything because uh, uh, we are missing a comma here right so e1 brightness increase save and we get a broken image i can see it there okay so it says me that it is not allowed to load local resource i think that can be fixed what we can do is actually launch this instance of browser window in web options with web security as false so that it just allows us to load the local resources because by default chrome disables that functionality so that people can just randomly uh, poke into your computer and load local files and it's actually web preferences not web options i want to say web security web security is false and that should get us do what we want and brightness save okay you can see that we get this big giant jumbo window with the, the styles if we see all those styles applied right so what we want now is to actually screenshot this so we can screenshot this using something known as a screenshot model for electron and uh, i'm going to show you that in the next tutorial because i guess it's over eight minutes now so that is all for this tutorial and in the next tutorial we're going to finally screenshot and save this bad boy on our computer so that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one real quick